My dear friends, what is going on guys? Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We are on the PlayStation 4 and you are with Sovereign. Thank you guys so much for being back. Uh, please don't forget to uh, click that thumbs up button if you enjoy the video guys. The support for the series would be just so much appreciated. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so I'm clearing out some of the trees near my property since we're kind of spreading out now with our fence area, you know. I'm going to need a lot more room, so I'm just kind of, I was clearing out some of these trees. I'm going to have to plant them a little further back because I've planted, like, all of these trees you see around here. Um, because, you know, I don't want to have to go, like, a million miles away for wood. But, you know, um, I didn't get a chance to actually run around and collect any more iron yet but that's totally fine what i'm going to do now is we're actually going to upgrade our home itself a little bit more um dude, what do we need here oh okay and that's cool that's cool we got it and one more here all right let's upgrade our door and we need steel to do more but you know what i'm i'm content with that as it is right now i mean that is that is a hella good door all right, what I'm going to do is, let me see here now, all right, yeah, put back the forged iron, we're just going to kind of keep them, like, right there, I'm going to put back our uh, barbed wire fences, I think we're all finished up making those now, I don't see any more coming in, all right, good, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to upgrade, and we don't have any spare iron on us, so we won't be able to do any more upgrades uh, other than, you know, wood, but that's totally cool, man. We just want to get a little bit of upgrading done for these windows and keep the baddies out. There we go. And we're moving right along here. This hammer does work quickly. That is something very nice about it. Um, we got windows upstairs. Let's go up here and do those too. Oh, um, you know what? I should have actually held onto that wood so I could freaking do this door. Um, oh, well. No big deal. It's okay. If I can get to these windows... Uh, let me see. Can I get up on here? I did. Yes. All right. There we go in right here. And you never know them spider zombies, dude. They'll they're all over the place, man. They can they can get around. So can we get it? Yes. Excellent hammer is super fast. I do like that a lot. It's much easier than, you know, using the uh, stone axe you originally begin the game with as a tool for upgrading, because it takes four swings to upgrade once, whereas this one is, you know, an upgrade per swing. Like, dude, four swings per upgrade, man, that is a lot of, a lot of swinging. <laughs> Excellent. And if we got any spider zombies that manage to climb over the wall, which I don't think they'll be able to, um, that's the whole point of those iron grates being over there. I mean, not only do I want to stand on them to shoot, but also that those are a great way to prevent spider monkeys. I keep saying spider monkeys. It's a great way to prevent spider zombies, you know, from actually being able to get over them. Now, I want to find a window. I'm sure that there's like a window frame somewhere, and I'm for some reason not able to find it. Uh, secure wood door, wood frame... Wood window, there it is. Holy crap. Let's get this out of here. It's going to annoy me. It's not equal. It's not even. Man, yes. Thank you, dude. All right, cool. Great. And now I'm, yeah, I believe we do have every window in the house upgraded all the way up to the point of iron. Uh, but, of course, we don't have iron on us to do that right now. Although I am going to do some more upgrades on our door here. Let's get a little bit more a little bit more beef on this door so we can feel safe and secure. And that one too. So here. What did it only show up on the outside? Okay, cool. I'm like, what the hell, bro? It didn't show up on the inside. <laughs> one, two, three. Yes. Awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, I did totally miss some windows. All right, that's cool. We got it. And this one. There we go. And... All right. I think we do now have all the windows officially barricaded. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let me get my... Iron. Wow, I used a whole bunch of that iron, too. Um, plenty of ammunition for our crossbow. 
Um, we got ourselves some bullets for our little 9 mil, uh, which I'm probably not even going to use. It's pretty underpowered right now. Um, I'd rather save my ammunition, really, and, and just use it on a much more powerful version of the 9mm pistol. So I'm probably just going to save that. Um, I think I have the 9mm on me just as, like, I don't know, a last resort, maybe, you know? Um, do that. We are getting ever so close to being time for the big event, man. It is, it is like, it is about to be on, you guys. Um, yeah, that is a... <laughs> That was a fortified house right there. Um, huh. Yeah, I'd really like to, you know, move around the whole house and, like, just change the entire look of it, honestly. Uh, but, you know, there will be time to do all that stuff later. All right. And let's go out and let's, let's do some stuff, guys. Let's look around, man. Let's do a little bit more here before the horde comes. Um, I'd love, you know, to find some iron. That would be great. Here's another Jambi. You know, this stuff might have actually respawned by now. I might be able to go in here and look through again. That would be pretty cool. Is he dead? He is dead. Nice. Can of tuna. I'll take it. Let me see here. Untouched. Ooh, I think it did respawn. Cool. Oh, man. Hell yeah, dude. Right off the bat, man. We get some shells. Oh, nope. That garbage pile. It was still empty. I don't know. Maybe. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, mm, no, I didn't go in that way. I think maybe I went in over here. Just look around a little bit and see. Oh my god! That scared the hell out of me! What are you doing? Oh no! Oh man, dude! Holy shit, that crap is no bueno, man. That's not good at all. The whole damn thing just, like, collapsed right in front of us, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think they need to do a little bit more work on their, you know, physics and stuff. Um, I really don't think they intended that to fall when you stepped on it. Um, yeah, no, I can't go in there yet. Alright, it still hasn't respawned yet, but that's cool. I'm gonna go over here. Let's head to this campsite and see what we got here. And, um, you know, I'll probably take down, like, all of these tents and just get the cloth from them. Because you can get a shitload of cloth from these tents, so. And there should be some zombies, too. I'm not sure where they all went at, but I'm pretty sure there should be zombies here. I really don't need feathers. I don't know why I keep getting them. I just do. I just can't help it. You know, I mean, you spend so much of the game looking for them, you just can't help it. And you're like, I have to. You know, I'm going to take that white t-shirt put that on. You, for an old man, you sure are ripped, my friend. I mean, look at this guy. Man, dude is, like, ripped. <clears throat> Excuse me. I seem to have gotten some allergies today. We can probably get some coal out of this. Yes. Take all that. Who hides a blood pack in a tree stone? That's a little weird. It. This, I believe, is solid. And yeah, <laughs> there isn't any room to, like, have an opening in it, so it's just solid. It's more for appearances. I wonder if we can get it to fall down. That'd be cool. Yay! And then now it's easier to pick up, too. You just walk near it and triangle, 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 triangle. There we go. All right, um, look through here. Nothing. And that pistol barrel's crap. Take that. Oh, hello, raw meat, nice. What did I just grab that I wanted? Yeah, this right here, let's get rid of that. I can probably make this whole thing fall down. It's pretty. It's red. It's cool. Gravity's gonna give in any moment now, dudes. I re I really feel it, man. I know it. I know it. It's going to. Ah, yes, there it is. <laughs> Love that. It's just so satisfying, you know. I mean, unless you're like walking on it and it collapses, dude, then it's just a little scary. Now let's stand in the middle of it all and hit triangle. Come to me, cloth. Yes, it's got a mind of its own. Look at it living. 
Uh, you know, I'm going to leave this one up. Who cares? I have plenty of cloth on me from just doing that. Yeah, 119. Yeah, I have a whole lot of cloth now, so. Um, hmm, eh, where do we want to go? Let's go this way. Maybe. Let me see what we have on the map here. You know, we've already been that way, dude. We've been that way a lot, man. What we should actually do, we should go this way. And, all right. Now, we're going to eventually be in the um, the burnt forest biome. But, I mean, that is okay. That is okay, really. I mean, I'd prefer not to be in there, but we need to cross through it to get to, like, more areas in the game. Uh, I want to find that cracker book, man. I just don't remember where the hell the damn store was, but I really would like to find it. I mean, I really am just super, super anxious to get mobile, you know, and get our, um, our, our mini bike going here. So, I mean, really, I should have everything I need to make one except a battery because, I mean, I've been using them for my little spotlights. Uh, but, and you know what? I'll probably make more spotlights, too, if I get more batteries. I don't know. I, the spotlights are really useful, man. I mean, it is going to be flat out dark. Uh, when the zombie horde starts to come in at us, and I would really love to be able to see them, but I'm not going to be able to if I don't have enough spotlights, so that's a problem. Definitely want this iron here. Keep looking around while we're while we're working, man. Gonna keep moving. I love how fast I can just like chew through that now. It is so good. Where are we at here? Um, hmm. You know, I wonder if there's anything interesting, like in this little blotch right here that I haven't uncovered yet. Let's head back toward the road a little bit. And we may just find something. Well, there's some more iron. My god, dude, there's like iron everywhere, man. What did I just step in? It's like... That's weird. And it didn't slow me down like a gore block would normally do. I wonder what that was. Give me your iron. I'm, you know, I'm. What I'm very curious about is like, you know, if you were to dig underground, and I mean like dig, you know, for a while and like get way deep under there, you know, I'm curious if you would find like any, you know, mine shafts or anything like that, or, you know, maybe some ores, coal, stuff like that in the ground. That would be really cool. I'm, I'm very curious about it, but. I mean, in order to, to do that, in order to test it, I'd have to do it myself. And, I mean, digging is all fine and well, but right now I'm just, you know, trying to make sure I do everything else that I need to do. I'm not really worrying about digging at this point yet, so. Oh, wow, man, I'm getting, I'm getting like, far from the road, dude. No, 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 man, I want to go this way. What's wrong with me? What the hell, I can't seem to, like, keep my, my location straight. Let's see where we're at. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm not really sure what is going on, man. I'm like sounding all bad right now. Um, allergies or something, maybe. I don't know. Look around, look around, man. Mm. I really wish I could have found more batteries, dude. I'd love at least, you know, two more spotlights, maybe. Just, I mean, you know, at least to have two more spotlights. I mean, I'd like to put them on the other corners, maybe, so if, you know, zombies were coming from that direction, I'd be able to actually see them. I don't know. It's fine. We'll find them eventually. Let's see if we can get some batteries from these cars. That would be awesome. Alright. And get this. Cool. Do this. Search it first. A bone? Wow, that... <laughs> I don't know what went down in there, dude, but it probably wasn't good. A radiator... Come on, dude. Let's have a battery, man. Another light. You know, honestly, I don't need headlights now, dude. I need batteries to power the headlights that you're giving me. A lot of. Get this iron again. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'll take all that. Wait, what? No, 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 man. That ain't cool, dude. We gotta have enough room for all this stuff, man. Get that here. Uh, get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. Screw it. Let's get rid of the feathers. Um, the nails. Scrap the springs. Scrap the radiator. Scrap the short pipe. I am actually going to scrap the engine as well. There we go. Break through the first layer. There we are. 
Sorry, guys, my 15-minute time limit for recording just cut me off there. Uh, but I did, in fact, see a battery. Whoop. Oh, man, dude. Yes, we got ourselves a little battery. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, let's move on to this other car. Uh, well, I'll take it and I will just scrap the pipe. I don't need you. And I actually have quite a few of those at home in a chest, too, so I'm, I'm pretty well good on those. Um, come on, battery, man. Let me just do one more battery, dude. One more. I mean, just let me, at least let me have four spotlights. No, not another headlight, dude. I want a battery. Oh, you poo. Keeps on giving me headlights. I really don't need them. And I have, I have plenty. The game has given them to me a lot. All right. I think we're probably in that area on the map now, so I don't see... Yeah, man, no store. Oh, well, that's cool. Let's keep looking around here. I thought those were zombies. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of zombies over there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look around for a little while, guys. Um, if anything interesting happens, well, I'll bring you back. Yes, another car, man. Let us have what we want. Give me the battery hill. I don't know if you can actually get a battery from a car in this condition. Um, I think it has to be like, you know, the, the middle condition or whatever you want to call it. Um, mm, that is... Yeah, that is totally burnt forest biome. Uh, hmm. Now, there's a huge unexplored area right here. And actually, there may be something really good there, too. But I'm actually... No, no, no. I'm actually not sure that I'm going to have the time to go over there and, and do that exploring. Because, I mean, it's, it is 20 o'clock. <laughs> it's, um, it's 10 p.m. Not 10 p.m., I'm sorry. It's 8 p.m. Um, so... Yeah, we only have like two short hours until the zombie horde comes. And I'm, I'm not particularly worried about it, but I mean, from what I understand, they do come to you. So you don't want to be away from home, away from your, you know, well-defended area um, when they do come for you. So I'm definitely not looking to do that. I, I want to be home where I feel safe and secure behind my big walls and be ready for the zombies when they come after me. So uh, what's that over there? Is that a burn victim? Do you see that? And that is. That's that's cool. I mean, the burnt forest is over there, but whatever. That's all right. Um, there's a burn victim. Not where he belongs. Interesting. I actually hear the crackling of fire now. Oh, I'm hearing it more and more as I get closer to him, too. Where are you, buddy? Hello. That's a tree. Make sure there's nobody behind me here. Fall down, boy. Yes. Nothing. That was a waste. Okay, there's that house. I know this house. Um, I've come to this house a couple times now, and I actually still haven't explored it, but frankly, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it's just a normal house. It probably doesn't have anything too important or too good to be found in it, really. I'm not even going to bother. I'm looking, you know, for businesses, more, more in the way of large cities and such, so... Nailed that biatch... See, dude, after all the use on my crossbow, my archery skill's only level 4. Like, man, how much do they want you to freaking use your bow, dude? Oh, look at that. Nice. Yes, yes. Oh, hold up now. I don't have room. Um, no, that's cool. We'll just use... Let's grab this. And, um, you know what I'll do? I'll just drink this right now. I'm sure I could use it. In fact, I did. Drink it. All right. And cool. Let's, yeah... And let's go home and maybe do some, like, last-minute preparations. Although, I mean, honestly, I really don't think there's much more that we need to do. I think we're pretty much well set. I'm not concerned about this horde, frankly. I think I'm... I don't know. I might not even have to fire a shot. I mean, I probably still will, you know, because I don't want them to damage my, my spikes too much. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that my spikes will actually kill any and all of them before they can even remotely get close to me. So I'm not exactly worried about it. Um, let's just head home. And yeah, we're going to go home. We're going to check on some things, make sure we got all we need to get. And I'm going to settle in and get ready for the horde to show up. All right, guys, the hour is nearly upon us. 
Uh, in the meantime, I decided that I would actually put two doors up here in front. Now, I know zombies program, uh, their AI is programmed to seek doors. Uh, but, you know, I'm really not too worried about that. Um, I'm, you know, I'm still sure that a lot of them are going to get very hurt on my trap. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just soup up these doors a little bit, you know. I'm going to make these doors a little bit, you know, better, a little stronger. Um, oh, cool, it has a little... Little door jam in the middle and everything. That's cool. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna do some door upgrading. Oh, man, I need iron already? Dude. Alright, that's fine. I, got, I need raw iron, and that's that's totally fine because I have some in here. Take half out of each one of them. Uh, cool, and there we go. Now, actually, what I'm gonna need to do is make some forged iron, too. Do 30 of them. I'm not sure how much I'll really need, but 30 should be good. And, all right, cool, dude. Let's do this, man. You know, make this door a boost. Cool. All right, and now we need to use our forged iron to do the rest. All right, and I'm actually going to just I'm gonna cut this in half and then cut that in half and put each one of those halves in there. All right, I'm going to leave myself with a little bit of raw iron I'm going to need um, for whatever, so. All right, cool. And I'm going to grab these two. Dude, the time is nearly here, man. I don't know. This might be enough, actually. I'm not really sure how many we need to use, but it's fine. Damn, dude. It took 20 per? Holy shit, son. That was quite a lot, man. Well, damn. Okay, and we need more, then. <laughs> dude, I did not expect it to take that much. Holy poops. make 30 more yeah man we will probably be able to get these doors you know souped all the way up like just before um the zombie horde actually is to come here 10 minutes guys 10 in-game minutes anyhow Ooh, it's so close man can you feel it guys can you feel it Hurry up, hurry up, man. Smelt my iron, dude. Seven minutes. Let's grab this. Oh, almost there. Cool, dude. One more, one more. We need, like, just, like, ten more, man. Nice. Dude, and... All right, there we go. Cool. And that should do it, man. Let's do this thing, guys. All right. All right, man. It is that time. All right, everybody, we ready? Hmm? Oh, man. Here we go, guys. It's time. It is time. The hour is upon us. Let's look around, look around, and keep our eyes open for these bastards. Oh, wait. I don't know. Did I see you? Hold up. Oh, I'm not sure. I can't tell. Where are they coming from? There they are. There they are. Oh, wow. Come get some. Eat the death pencils, bitches! Woo! Man, dude, everybody's climbing on top of each other. Yes! <laughs> Death pencils! I missed him. Yes!
Come on, boy. And wow, dude, my, my spikes really took a beating right there. Holy shit. More of you. Follow me over here, everybody. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Love it. Can't see. Oh, he did. This is a bigger horde than I remember the first time. Holy shit. Come on in, guys. All right. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Join the party. Look at you jumping like a pro, man. Look at this guy, dude. Like a champ over here. He's jumping around and stuff. Well, that's dumb. Why are you walking through? Wow, holy shit, dude. This horde is big, man. It's bigger than my buddy Sam's horde. I think. Yes, dude. And now, you know, they got... They broke through my traps a little faster than I expected them to, actually. <laughs> I mean, you know, I need to make thicker spike rings around my little fort here, so I'll have to do that. Uh, but that's fine. Yes! Let's shoot some people. Yes! <laughs> Spider zombies. This is so much fun. I think he's dead. I'm not really sure. Dude, they like this horde is big. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Save a little ammunition for my pistol there. You're gonna break your legs! Oh, you broke your legs. And woo, I think we did it, dudes. And all right, cool. I think we did it. Oh, wait, and see that? Hornet. You gonna come over? Guys, that was excellent, man. That was a good horde, dude. Look at this shit, man. They really friggin' chewed up my stuff. Wow, man, that was really crazy. Hella good, though. That was good, good fun, man. Well, damn. Man, that was a really good little horde, too. Look at the death and destruction. <laughs> that is so awesome. Impressive, no? Look at the death pencils have served their purpose. Let me take a screenshot of that. Yes. Oh, man, that was excellent. All right, dudes. Well, 
Um, you know, this episode might have been a little shorter than the others, but that was the Seventh Night Horde. Um, we've got seven more days to prepare for an even bigger horde to come. So, all right, I'm going to loot these bodies. I'm going to go through and loot them up. Uh, and in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for being here, for joining me for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to the 14th day horde. Ooh, nice, moldy bread. You can use moldy bread to make uh, antibiotics, by the way. And yeah, thank you so much for your support, guys. Do not forget to give the series a like if you enjoyed it. Um, it really helps me out, it does. And it lets me know that I'm doing something right. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Love you guys, and goodbye.